Hey, what's up you guys? It's Dorothy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go into chapter 72 of Speak by Lori Halls Anderson. We are just about done with this book. We've got um, 60 pages left to read, so let's get right into this video. This video may contain sensitive topics and foul language. If you do not wish to continue, please click off for the video now. You have been warned. My life as a spy. Rachel slash Rousseau has lost her mind. She's flipped. She went to the movies with Andy Beast and her exchange friends, and now she follows after him, panting like a Bichon Fursé. He wears her buddy Greta Ingrid draped around his neck like a white scarf. When he spits, I bet Rochelle catches it in a cup and saves it. Rochelle and some other twit matter about the twit matter about the movie date before Mr. Stepman starts class. I want to puke. Rochelle is just Annie this and Annie that. Could she be more obvious? I close my ears to her stupid asthmatic laugh and work on the homework that was due yesterday. It is usually easy to do homework in class because Mr. Stepman's voice creates a gentle white noise sound barrier. I can't do it today. I can't escape the argument circling my head. Why worry about Rochelle? He'll hurt her. Had she d done a single decent thing for me the whole year, she was my best friend through middle school. That counts for something. No, she's a witch and a traitor. She didn't see what happened. Let her lust after the beast. I hope he breaks her heart. What if he breaks something else? When class is over, I slide into the middle of the pack, pushing out the door before Mr. Stepman can bust me for the homework. Rochelle shoves past me to where Greta Ingrid and a short kid from Belgium are waiting. I tell them, always keeping two bodies between us like detectives on a television show. They're on their way to the foreign language wing. That's no surprise. The foreign kids are always there, like they need to breathe air scented with their native language a couple times a day, or they'll choke to death on too much American. Andy B swoops over their heads, folds his wings, and sets himself between the girls, and they start up the stairs. He tries to kiss Greta Ingrid's cheek, but he turns away. He kisses Rochelle's cheek, and she giggles. He does not kiss the cheek of the short Belgian. The Belgian and the Swede wave chow at the office of the foreign language department. Rumor has it there is an espresso maker in there. The friendly momentum keeps Rochelle and Andy walking all the way to the end of the hall. I face a corner and pretend to study algebra. I figure that's enough to make me unrecognizable. I sit on the floor. Rochelle is in full lotus. Andy steals Rochelle's notebook. She whines like a baby and throws herself across his lap to get it back. I shiver with goosebumps. He tosses the notebook from one hand to the other, always keeping it just out of her reach. Then he says something to her. I can't hear it. The hall sounds like a packed football stadium. His lips move poison and she smiles and then she kisses him wet, not a Girl Scout kiss. He gives her the notebook. His lips move. Lava spills out of my ears. She is not any part of the pretend Rochelle chick. I can only see third grade Rachel who liked barbecue potato chips and who braided pink embroidery, embroidery thread into my hair and I wore it for months until my mom made me cut it out. I rest my forehead against the prickly stucco. That is the end of this chapter. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.